Hey everybody, JRS PC here with another box break video, and today when I was looking for something cool to open, I walked past the ginormous stack of mega boxes that I have. I've been saving, uh, a lot of them are 2020, 2021 era, back when they were tough to get, and I buy them and keep them and enjoy them uh, at a later date, and today is that later date, so I have like four or five of these mega boxes, plus I got the Target one. So I thought, let's open up one of these. It says you get an autograph on average per box. We'll see if it's true or not. So let's dig right in, guys. Let's dig on in. I got to do that National Treasures racing box here eventually. If you've been waiting for that, well, let me know in the comments if you are, and I will get right into it very, very soon. But I want to wait till someone's interested so they can keep an eye out for it. All right, there you go. You got 15 packs, I believe. 15 5 card packs plus one 10 card bonus purple velocity pack. So, there we go. And now, like always, I'm going to cut the bottoms, but I'm not going to bore you with that. So, I'm just going to pause it rather than fast forward this time. Hold on. All right, and we are back. And I have a lot of carnage. A lot of carnage. Oh my goodness, look at all this carnage right here. Okay, let's get into it. Oh, I found some right here. More carnage. Okay. Uh, pretty good autograph checklist in this right here. Um, it being that it's retail, I don't ex expect us to get anything like, you know, a super big name player. I mean, there's always the odds that you can. Uh, we, we know that. But uh, odds are it's going to be a cheaper, um, a rookie, lower draft pick. You know what I'm saying. Uh, they save the good stuff for the hop usually. So, all right, starting things off. This is a little bit older, so I've got a trout right there. We'll take that, add it to the old PC. Andrew Vaughn, rookie. Got a little bit of scratchy poo on there. Pretty cool zenith right there. And Ronald Acuna, so a couple good cards there. Trout and Acuna. All right, did the old lick the card trick and clean that up a little bit. Look at that. That mark is gone. Very nice. Ver Vernas, okay. Two PC cards right there off the top. When I say PC, I don't really PC them, but I have a, a box that's, I mean, a PC trout, you guys know that, and I like Acuna, but I mostly just put them in a box, and I have a zillion of the cards, so Marcelo Zuno, hey, there's my man, Pete Alonzo, that's a PC card, Timeless Treasures, and another trout, really nice, Phoenix, very, very nice, I really, I really enjoy uh, Chronicles, I don't know if you guys like it or not, uh, even though baseball has, or they don't have the licensing, the cards are just really, really nice. They do a really good job. I love the variety. Uh, I love some of the cards you can get in here, like the uh, Obsidian, stuff like that. There's a Dalton Var show. Um, I think that they're just really nice. It's a fun product to break. Um, it's just really good looking cards. So, what do you guys think about that? You guys agree? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Okay, let's see how many trouts we can get. Okay, who is this? William uh, Contreras, rookie card. Joey Bart. Kind of uh, underwhelming play thus far in his career. Monty Harrison. Black, that's pretty cool. And Carlos Correa, who hasn't done much uh, in terms of growing his hobby love since leaving the trash can bangers. Next up. What do we got here? Whit Merrifield. Not to be confused with Bobby Whit. Nick Madrigal. Alex Kirilov. I was going to say Kirilov. <laughs> Big Poppy. And a nice Sixto Sanchez rookie card. And that is the, what is that? Revolution. I used to love that stuff back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Pacific made just great, great cards. I mean, really great cards. Dylan Cousins, rookie. Hasn't done much also. Jared Kalnick. He's still trying to get it together. Clark Schmidt, Crusade, pretty cool looking card. Gold standard of Yermin Mercedes, who started off great, fell off uh, the face of the earth. And a little bit of static cling on that Alex Manoa. Moving right along. Hey, there you go, Shohei. Always a good day when you get a Shohei. Andres Jimenez, former Met. Andrew Vaughn. In fact, first year I think he went to Cleveland. He was, he was an all-star. So good for him. Sad for us. J.D. Martinez. But I like our team. 
Vladdy Jr. like it. Nice looking card there. I also have a spot for Vladdy's. I have a I have two four row boxes to be honest with you, and it's just got just certain guys I was just saving. Uh, Cunha is one of them. Tatis is one. Of, hey, right there behind that, Tatis is one of them. Very nice. And then another Alex Manoa. Alec Manoa should. I think did he get released? I can't remember what happened at the end of the year. Davy Garcia and Alec Bohm rookie card. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I thought I heard something about Alex Manoa getting released or something like that. It doesn't make a lot of sense because he's a good pitcher. Um, I don't know what the deal is. Hey, another Acuna. And another Tatis right behind it again. Very cool. The old school pickle brand. Dylan Carlson. Casey Mize. Hopefully he'll come back and actually play a season. Uh, I think he's had one or two Tommy Johns. Ozzy Albies. There we go. Braylon Marquez. Traditional score. Who's that? Geraldo Perdoma. Geraldo Perdoma, sorry. Casey Mize. Titans. Evan White. This guy, I don't think he's done anything in his entire career. And Jacob deGrom. Throw that in my Mets PC. I still got the DeGrominator in there. That poor guy, man. All the talent in the world. He just can't seem to finish a season. All right. Sandy Kofix. That's very nice. Max Scherzer. Missing with the Mets already. Hey, Pete Alonzo with the Magnitude. These are really cool acetate cards. Very nice. I dig them. Jose Devers. Never heard of him, actually. And Mr. Ripken Jr., the Iron Man. There you go. All right, we got a bunch of PC cards here. Now we just need us an autograph. One autograph per box on average. I, I was making sure I read it right, making sure it didn't say something about a, a war memorabilia card because that's just horrible. But there's a nice Pete. Another Tatis. Tatis has been the second card in a lot of packs so far this break. Kalnick. Joe Adele, another guy who kills it in AAA. Cannot figure out how to put it together for the majors, though. And Garrett Crochet. Revolutions. That last pack was pretty thick, so I'm thinking it's going to be like a Spectrum or Obsidian, but I'm really hoping it's not going to be uh, a memorabilia card, because that'll just stink. I'm, I, oh, oh, there's our auto. I think I spoiled it, but Soto, he's another one I've got. Almost a full row of cards. Um, that'll go in there with the other Sotos. Clayton, Kershaw, Pete Alonzo, and Braylon Marquez Revolution. And Jame Jones is our auto. That's pretty cool. Nice Zenith. I'm not sure what he's doing right now in Major League Baseball, but let's find out. Hold on. All right, looks like he played for... Um, Baltimore in 20, well, it looks like he played for the, the Dodgers in, in uh, 2020. Baltimore in 2021 with 26 games. He didn't play in the majors in 2022. And he played seven games with the Milwaukee Brewers last year. So, uh, I don't think I'm going to retire on that card right there. Unfortunately. So. Hey, another Shohei. Love it, love it, love it. We love the shows. We love the Shoheis. Sally Perez, do you think he'll be a Hall of Famer? I feel like he's got a shot just because, I don't know, longevity at catcher and pretty, you know, he's had a pretty solid career uh, offensively too. Brady Singer, Christian Javier. Three packs left. And that includes the bonus pack. Tristan McKenzie. Alec Bohm. Christian Pache. This guy's got around a little bit, but he's still playing. And he's not a horrible player. He was just horrible with the Braves. Ha Sung Kim, XR, and Andy Abanez. Okay, here's the thicky. This was actually the last pack I opened, too, so these, <laughs> I didn't put them in this order intentionally. Mickey Moniak. All right, let's just do this right here. Nice Juan Soto Crusades. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's Juan Soto. For a second there, I was looking through the camera, looking over the camera, and I almost thought it was... Joey Votto, <laughs> Whit Merrifield, Tanner Houck, Mickey Moniak, and 
Be a Peter. Oh, it's another PC card, though. That's okay. Bryce Harper. And this is, what is this thing? Besides very, very thick. This is America's pastime. That's right. America's pastime. Very thick. This is about as thick as six cards. Um, but I dig it. Very nice. So, All right. Let me know what you think in the comments. Oh, wait. I'm so sorry. Don't listen. Stop it. Don't yell. Don't yell at me about forgetting a pack. I got it. I got it. Man. All right. Let's hopefully we got a Trouter in here. I like the Troutster. Born out of Bryce. Wit. You Darvish. Nick Neater. Mr. Acuna. That's very cool. Tanner Houck. Kyle Isbell. Tim Anderson, who I believe got released. Ian Anderson, who's from where I grew up. Anthony Rizzo. And Joe Adele is the one we're going to end with. So, All right. Well, you guys have a good rest of the day. Hopefully you like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Later.